In this set of tutorials, we're going to look at analysis in 3D space. So to do that, we want to create a 3D anatomical project. So again, we're going to use the project wizard. We want to choose the VMR project. We're using the DICOM format again. And we want to call this project CG underscore 3D T1 MPR. And we'll choose our anatomical scan. So again, Brain Voyager pulls all the information it needs from the header file. And let Brain Voyager compile the project. So we've compiled a 3D anatomical project. You can see that the data quality is not very high and is showing some noise. The data set is also a bit homogeneous. The purpose of this data set is to allow us to align functional slice based data from the same recording session with this anatomical data set. However, the inhomogeneities in the image might have some negative effect on the outcome of co registration and segmentation procedures. So we have to improve the data quality of the anatomical set by applying some automatic correction procedures. So what we want to do is we want to click on volumes and we want to select the inhomogeneity correction v16 tools. And what this will do is it will do four different things. First we'll do some background cleaning. So all the intensities of the voxels in the background are set to zero. It'll do some brain extraction. So it'll segregate the brain from the head tissue. It'll detect the white matter and it'll perform some bias field estimation within white matter voxels. So we'll accept the default values and hit go. It should take a couple of minutes to perform the corrections. Once complete, we can close the pop-up windows. And what you can see now is that the image is a lot clearer. What it's done is it's produced a more homogeneous and peeled VMR data set. And this new corrected data set will be saved as CG underscore 3D T1 NPR underscore IIHC. So this concludes the tutorial of creating a 3D anatomical project. The next step will look at co-registration of functional and anatomical data.